second. Hi guys, welcome back to 45th part of the Arduino tutorials. In the previous video, I have shown how to control the servo motor position using the encoder. So in this video, we'll try to control the DC motor speed and also the direction using the encoder. So here the motor is rotated in the forward direction. I can also increase and decrease the speed. So if I press this encoder switch, the direction will change and now it's rotated in the backward direction. In same way I can vary the speed. So this will be our requirement. For this tutorial you need Arduino board, encoder module, DC motor driver. So here I have selected this BTS7960 driver because it can handle up to 43 amps. So even if your motor is small you can still use the same. And for the motor I have selected this 24 volts 350 watt e-bike motor. Power supply for the motor, some jumper wires. Coming to the connections, here I'll take the 5 volt and ground from the Arduino board common onto the breadboard because we need this supply for both encoder and the motor driver. In the encoder, the VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5V and ground. The switch pin goes to Arduino digital pin 4. DT and clock pin goes to Arduino digital pin 2 and 3. From the motor driver, the VCC and ground goes to Arduino 5V and ground. R enable and L enable pin goes to Arduino digital pin 7 and 8. RPWM, LPWM goes to Arduino digital pin 5 and 6 which are PWM pins. M plus and M minus pins goes to motor terminals. And finally B plus and B minus is to be connected to the power supply. So just for demonstration, I'll be using the 12 volt power supply. That's all the connections. So moving on to the code, here I have used the basic concepts from two videos. So one is the encoder basics, particularly you have to refer this video. And the second video is on the basics of BTS7960 motor driver, which is this particular video. So starting with the declaration section, first I have declared all the encoder pins. So additionally, I have also used integrated switch which comes with the encoder this we need to change the direction so after this we have all the pins of the motor driver and for these two pins we have to make use of the PWM pins of the Arduino board to control the speed and the last variable this is to indicate the direction of the motor here I have used 0 for the forward direction in the setup function so all the encoder pins will be input and the motor control pins will be output and coming to the loop section first we are reading all the three pins clock DT and the switch pin of the encoder so here we have three things the first thing is to read the encoder and update the counter value so incrementing it in the forward direction and decrementing in the backward direction. 
so this count value will be using it as a PWM duty cycle value to control the speed since Arduino uses 8-bit duty cycle value I am limiting this count value between 0 to 255 this is for encoder clockwise direction here the value increments till 255 and here we have logic for encoder counterclockwise direction where the value decrements till 0 so the second part I'll directly go to the motor control section where this control variable is 0 which means motor direction enabled to forward so I'm passing this count duty cycle value on the right PWM pin and here the left PWM will be 0 similarly if this variable becomes 1 the left PWM will take the duty cycle value and the right PWM value will be 0 so this is the simple and straightforward come to the last part of the logic which decides the motor direction control based on the switch press which I have added here at the center before writing this logic we have to consider one scenario where motor is already rotating in forward direction with max speed and if I change the direction to backward all of a sudden this can lead to instability in the motor and in some cases can also damage the motor driver so now to handle this scenario we have to gradually decrease the speed first once speed comes to zero it's safe to change the direction so that is why we have some additional logic here instead of directly changing the value so I'm just checking if the PWM count value is zero or not if PWM count value is not zero that means the motor is already having some speed in that case keep reducing this count value with small steps and parallelly keep reducing the speed of the motor using same analog write functions either it may be in forward or it may be in backward direction so once the count is zero so which indicates the motor has reduced the speed and it has stopped rotation at this point it's safe to change the direction so that's why I'm just negating the direction so this is the value which we'll be using at the end as I shown before so I'll just upload this code and show the demo the actual setup now I'll start rotating the encoder the motor is rotating in the forward direction so using this encoder I can easily increase and decrease the speed so again I'll increase the speed to maximum and now if I press the switch the motor starts decreasing its speed and comes to rest again if I rotate the encoder motor started spinning in the backward direction here also I can increase and decrease the speed So this is how using a single encoder you can control the direction and speed of a DC motor. So that's all for this video. For code and circuit you can visit the link in the description box. Also if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below. For more tutorials and Arduino projects subscribe to us and follow us on Instagram. 
Thank you for watching. I'll be back in the next one.